Oh, I nearly held it. Oh, that's a great start. Well, that's, that's the review, finished. Guys, welcome to the channel. And today we're talking a little review on Tour Striker Plane Mate Training Aid. I'm so far, I'm sold on it. I actually love it. I really like it. I thought I saw it advertised on I saw a couple of reviews on YouTube and saw a couple of the pros using it. Saw Rory doing it, uh, using it for a few of his wedges. And I thought, I think this could help. I think this could help a lot of the guys that I'm teaching as well. And for the chipping and the pitching, it's been amazing. It's been really, really good because the most one of the most common swing faults we see in golfers is that they swing the club too much in and around the body, behind the body. They get the the golfers often get a little bit confused with staying compact. So as they stay compact, the club works around the elbows have stayed in nice and compact, what they were looking for. But this club has worked very low behind the body, and that's not a position we'd want to be. If you think about the, the striking characteristics of a wedge, we want to be hitting down on the golf ball. When we swing the club a little bit too much on the inside, the club head's not very high, therefore the angle of attack into the ball is quite shallow. If I get the club a little bit steeper, a bit more out here, my angle of attack now becomes steeper. <laughs> it becomes down more onto the back of the ball, I'm able to get the ball airborne, I'm able to create a little bit more backspin, and that's what this does fantastically well. What we've got is basically a bodybuilder's belt. It's a quite a simple belt. We've got a little bit of green tubing, okay? So it's elasticated. And then this, this device that sits onto the club's pretty, been pretty solid. I mean, I've used this now for probably two months or so with various, various clients, and it's been pretty solid. So we're looking at why, where do we swing? How do we use this? So if you're a golfer that goes on the in, swings it on the inside, you'll notice that the tubing has gone quite lax, yeah? If you're a golfer that does that, we need to make sure that we get you steeper on the way back. Notice how I've created a little bit of tension in the tubing, and that's how I want to keep the tubing. We're going to have a little bit of wrist hinge in there, so I'm going to be looking for the club head to be slightly higher than the hands, and I'm going to be looking for this tubing to have a little bit of resistance in there. So as I take the club back, a bit of resistance, and as I come through, one of the key things and one of the key selling points that I love about this is I want to see the tubing still quite quite strained on the way through the shot because I want the uh, I want to see a golfer's arms work kind of through impact and work upwards I want to see the club head as I look at it to the right side of my hands for a right-handed golfer and I want to see this quite strong again I don't want to see golfers hit release this lead wrist around the body here because the tubing now starts to hit me in the arms and again it starts to get a little bit lax as I start to finish in here. I want to see a golfer start to rotate with the sternum and with the hips, let the hands lead into the ball and let the arms extend out so we've got a little bit of strain through the tubing on the way through. So a golfer would, a, a kind of typical bad shot for a golfer would be in here and then they would create the strain on the way down, hit, and then they'd get it wrapped up in and amongst the body there. And that would be quite a common bad shot. But as I'm doing that, I can feel this hitting me. I can feel it moving around here. It feels very uncomfortable. And it kind of gives me immediate feedback that I'm definitely doing something wrong for it to be doing that. So just very, very simple guidelines as to what you need to be following. Got a little bit of strain here on the setup bit of resistance and strain there on the takeaway, hit the golf ball, a little bit of strain and resistance on the way through. There, there. So now I've used this for golfers off 36 the cap and one of the boys uh, plays off three. We've been using this for kind of chipping and pitching, going out to 40, 50, 60, 70 yards, just feeling that width and that rotation. It's definitely starting to isolate the, the kind of the, the body, the bigger muscles in the body, get the rotation of the shoulders, get the rotation of the hips going, rather than kind of dictating it in here with the hands and over there with the wrist or anything like that, because it really feels uncomfortable and awkward when this starts to kind of fly all over the place. For this device, shipping is available from the US. If you want a little bit more information about it, jump in the description below and you can go and have a look at it. I, they shipped it to me from 
the US, I'm out here in Dubai, so obviously shipping costs were quite expensive. So if you can find a, a route around that, fire away, do so. But it's definitely worth it. If you're really struggling with chipping and you're pitching, it's a great way of just trying to get a feel that what we're all teaching you about chipping and pitching is what this device is encouraging you to be doing as well. So it's a really good, really good feedback on how to how to kind of chip and pitch and where the club should be and you get instant feedback thanks to the tubing as well like i say the actual device itself is is very very easy to kind of carry very easy to unscrew so straight away that's off the golf club and it is now off me I'm gonna give it a go now without that it does feel a bit weird in my arms oh my arms literally felt like jelly as i tried to do it so the way i tell my golfers to try and go they come in they try it out they they use it when i'm coaching and they'll just they'll maybe do five or six swings with it on and then try and go five or six five or six swings with it off so they try and get a real nice feel that that tubing is still pulling them around out there and then the body's still rotating We've still got control of the the club head through impact so guys if you've got any questions on that device if you've seen it before as well and you're still kind of curious about it you want to know a little bit more please do drop in the comments below i'm happy to discuss all of it in this video from this video i should say and from today if you enjoyed this video click the like click that subscribe button as well extra 10 seconds on the video for you and we'll see you again very very soon